I found the baby set has been lost. She would be normally in a litter, maybe six, seven, eight. Giving her milk when she was tiny it was a really delicate operation. Very yeah, lovely. She's just got one eye open, so that indicates she's five weeks old. As you can see, she's got a really fat little tummy there. So she's got her own little sleeping bag in here, and she's going to be nice and cosy in there. Whisper's coming on really well, she's going really fast now. Alright, it's time for a bigger enclosure for her. She'll come out and she's going to have a whole new little world to explore in there. There we go, she's getting braver. The main thing it likes is a human company. And that's something that we've got to change. I feel a little bit sorry for her in a way that she's not got any playmates yet. We're always on the lookout for another stoke kit that's been lost and if we find one we'll do everything we can to get them together. Someone contacted me from North. They found a baby stoke in their garden and with a few phone calls and a bit of driving they've actually got the baby stoke here. So there we are, exactly the same age as Whisper. This one's quite shy and it's called Stuart. Stuart's a girl. And I'm going to pop her in there. Uh, now we whisper and we'll see what happens. Neither of these have seen the state before because they're both found with their eyes closed. So this is going to be a really exciting moment. Here comes Stuart just having a little look out and we've got whisper exploring around the back. I'm sure this is going to work. Yeah, just down a bit. So this is it, they've been in there less than half an hour together and uh, we've got them playing. They've realised they've got a plane right now, <laughs> which is just superb. They're getting really active now, they're climbing, they're fighting, they're playing. They're really ready for the next part of their development, which is going outside into the release enclosure. Right, that's it. We've got two, uh, two stones in here now, and we're just going to walk out to the uh, enclosure. So I'm going to put the stones into the nest here, but we've got loads of places to explore here. We've got a dry stone wall here. So we've got a little nose poking out here, so they're really raring to go. Stuart was cautious, just popping her head out of the wall, sniffing at the air. Whereas Whisper's much more confident, straight out exploring a new enclosure. Over the next few days it became more and more confident and started playing in this enclosure, which is just fabulous to see. It was great to see some rivalry between the two kids. Whisper had some food and a hungry steward tried stealing it. I even built them a pond. It was absolutely brilliant watching them swim around, playing and fighting in the pond. And now I'm pretty confident they're ready for their next stage, which is life in the wild. Stuart was first to appear, sniffing around at the entrance. Eventually she takes her first cautious steps into the wild. Whisper and Stuart stayed in and around the enclosure for about a week before setting off for their new life in the wild. It's been an amazing experience being part of these young stoats' lives and I look forward to catching up with them in the future.